Good day everybody. Well, when I started moving my videos from YouTube over here, I noticed that a lot of my videos had disappeared. Did a little bit of net searching I found other people said their videos also disappeared. So, I'm just going to start uploading here and then I'll put one on YouTube so at least I've got them someplace. This is one of my freshwater tanks. This is actually what I have termed my jungle tank. It's based loosely around, you know, South American jungle or maybe a jungle anywhere in the world, rainforest, whatever. And let me give everybody a brief description of it. The tank itself has over 12 species of Anubis in it. It has a cryptocorn spiralis in it. It has your different grasses. Marimo moss ball. Brucephalandra, six different species. There are 14 Amano shrimp in here, two Nerite snails, at least 50 Neocardina David I red, yellow, and blue, and uh, there's some ram's horns in here. This tank has been up and running for over a year and a half, and how I built it was real simple. The substrate, let's go around to the side here so I can give you a look at it because you can't see it on the front anymore. Really can't see it on the sides either. Uh, okay, the substrate in it is fluorite, seachem fluorite. And what I did was I added rocks that were from my yard. I know they are aquarium safe, so I wasn't concerned about that. On top of the fluorite, you'll see all this greenish yellow algae looking stuff. Well, that's not algae. That's marimo moss balls that I shredded in half and then glued on to a uh, hobby craft batten, the same stuff that you'd use for uh, sewing, and I think cross stitches it. And a couple of my monos over here going at it at the moment. There's some white cloud minnows in here as well. One Siamese algae eater and one hill stream loach that's currently hiding. Yeah, I see you. And if I move that, we'll all see you. Okay. So the Marimo is all glued, up, glued onto it and placed in there. It's expanded quite a lot since I originally did it. The Boost of Philandria is going really good, as is, as you can see, all my Anubis. This tank will pearl in the afternoon. How am I running this tank? Well, it's a 10 gallon. It has 8 gallons of water in it after all substrate is put in it. It does have a top and it is powered by two Walmart HyperTuff undercounter lights. These are 5,500 Kelvin lights. More than enough to power it. Now, I've had a couple of people come over and ask me, where's my CO2, where's my CO2? Well, there is no CO2. I mean, here's the front tank, here's the side. Don't know, well, there's the back, you can see it. And there's the other side. The only filter in here is a 150 gallon per hour power head. It is attached to a, uh, let's see if you can get it. Yeah, you can see it, there it is. It is attached to a sponge filter. I've heavily modified that to make it work. It is running full time. As you can see there, it's why there I get sway in it. Shrimp are breeding, everything's happy. Like I said, this tank's been up for over a year, closing in closer to its two year mark, really. And just as healthy as can be. You never see all my shrimp, but when you start looking, well, there's a David Eye right there. Uh, oh, there's my black, one of them. Uh, there's some red ones back in the back. You can see them. So, you know, that's kind of what we get. Just a nice, simple little tank. Maintenance on this is even easier. Once a week, I do a 20% water change and I use uh, Seachem Advance 5 milliliters, 5 mil of iron, and that's it. That's all this tank gets once a week. I don't have to do the water change. It's not because of ammonia, nitrite, or nitrate, or anything like that. It's simply, I like getting in here. I prune the tank and do whatever maintenance it needs to keep it looking healthy like this. 
and change the water and that's just purely because I enjoy doing it. The tank itself is extremely healthy as you can see and I think that goes along with my philosophy with all my tanks. Low maintenance and just have fun. Oh there's one of my big red shrimp out. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. There we go. That's one of the David Eye. That's one of the bigger ones and again like I said there's my Siamese algae eater. He's a year old, or she, whatever. A mono. Another a mono. And yes, these are monos. They may look big on camera. They're two and a half inch monos. They're big a mono shrimp. They've been in here and doing well. So that's what you could do with a very low tech tank, low tech plants, low tech lighting. You know, LED. <laughs> it just, it don't get any easier than this and you can see how well the tank grows. Uh, I'll be posting a video I took a week or two ago where you could actually see purling going on. I'll post that up later. Still working on getting all my videos transferred from YouTube over here and making some new ones. So hopefully people will find this, uh, find Odyssey and realize better than YouTube, no censorship and no disappearing videos. So. I hope you all enjoy this tank as much as I do. If you have any questions, ask away. I'm always happy to talk about it. Always happy to help people try and learn how to do it. Let's get an up top view even. That's a definitely a different view. And a mono, a mono everywhere. That's my cleanup, my thriving. There's one of my blue shrimp. He's coming out. And just really cool to sit here and watch this tank as you it's changing every minute shrimp coming out shrimp going away white clouds coming in white clouds going out i could talk about this tank for hours and just watch it for hours i could probably put a camera on this and people would just sit there mesmerized by it it's just a neat little tank hope you all enjoyed this video and have a great day